Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Medical Minion. This is the video for physiology. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will cover homeostatic mechanism that are feedback loops, positive and negative. So let's get started. So what is feedback? Feedback basically is a response, meaning information gained about a reaction to a product which allow the modification of the product. Simply consider example, you buy a product from a company, the company asks customer to give their dislike or like about the product, that is feedback, that helps the company to build a product that is more beneficial, that is modification of the product. Now, what is feedback loop? Feedback loop is a process in which output of a system impacts or influence the input or the stimulus you have input input is processed by the regulator that is brain and then we have output and output impacts the input so consists of a cycle of event in which information about a change is feedback into a system so that the regulator that is the brain can control the process so what is feedback loop mechanism feedback loops are therefore the process whereby a change to a system that is input result in an alarm which trigger a certain result that is output this result will either increase the change to the system that is positive feedback or will reduce it to bring the system back to normal that is negative feedback loop. Now, why feedback loops are so important? Feedback loops are important as they help living organism to maintain homeostasis. Now, type of feedback loops. The first one is the positive feedback loop. In positive feedback loop, output of a system amplifies the system. That is, input or the change in the system gives an output and this output increases the change in system that is input. और आप कह सकते हो कि जो आउटपुट आता है जो रिजल्ट आता है वो इंटर्न हमारे इनपुट को और ज़्यादा बढ़ावा देता है जो है चेंज तो इन होम्योस्टेटिक मैकेनिज्म इफ यू सी द चेंज इन सिस्टम दैट इज आवर इनपुट व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस अ रिस्पांस दैट इज आउटपुट एंड दिस आउटपुट इन टर्न विल इंक्रीज द चेंज इन द सिस्टम दैट इज आवर इनपुट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल इन हिंदी आपके पेरेंट्स ने आपको सर्वर टाइम बोला होगा कि आ, आपको अगर आपका कोई दोस्त चिढ़ा रहा है तो उसे रिस्पांस मत दीजिए क्योंकि अगर आप वो रिस्पांस दोगे तो वो आपको और ही ज़्यादा चिढ़ाएगा तो यहाँ पे आपका इनपुट हुआ उनका टीजिंग और आपका आउटपुट हुआ आपका चिढ़ना आपका परेशान होना और आप अगर ज़्यादा परेशान होंगे तो वो और ज़्यादा चिढ़ाएगा तो यही है पॉजिटिव फीडबैक लू नाउ लेट स्टडी डिफरेंट बायोलॉजिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पॉजिटिव फीडबैक लू द फर्स्ट वन इंक्लूड फ्रूट राइटनिंग During mango season, have you ever noticed why we segregate ripe fruit from the unripe one? This is because to protect ripe fruit from overripening. So let's explain this in detail. So ripe fruit produces a gas known as ethylene, that is C two H four through their skin. This ethylene gas is responsible for inducing ripening in fruits. When a ripe fruit produces this gas, the fruit nearby it also get ripens. Once they get ripen, they too produce ethylene, which continue to ripen rest of the fruits. This cycle continues and ripen. every fruit in the box so this is example of positive feedback now let's take the second example that is childbirth when labor begins the baby's head is pushed downward and result in increased pressure on the cervix that is contraction 
This stimulates a receptor cell to send a chemical signal to the brain allowing the release of oxytocin. This oxytocin diffuses to the cervix via blood where it stimulates further contraction. This contraction stimulates further oxytocin release until the baby is born. So contraction result in oxytocin release and then again contraction is also an example of positive feedback loop. The third example is blood clotting. When the tissue is torn or injured, a chemical is released. This chemical causes platelets in the blood to activate. Once these platelets have activated, they release a chemical which signal more platelets to get activated until the wound is clotted. Now let's study the second type of feedback loop that is negative feedback loop. Here the output of the system inhibits the system. Meaning when there is a change and this change produces an output that output will decrease or inhibit the change that is input. So let's try to understand negative feedback loop with a day to day example. Suppose you and your friend had a physical fight and your parents get the complaint about the same. Then your parents will warn you not to do so. Meaning your parents are inhibiting you or slowing down you to not repeat the same. That is the input meaning you are fighting with your friends. Your good deeds are always encouraged by your parents. So that is the example of positive feedback. But your bad behavior, your bad deeds are always slowed down or your parents scold you when you do so. That is an example of negative feedback. Now let's study negative feedback loop example that is temperature regulation. Our normal body temperature is approximately 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. When body temperature rises above this temperature, hypothalamus activates heat loss center. First, vasodilation occurs to allow more of the blood surface area to expose to the cooler environment. Second thing is sweat gland secretes sweat. As the sweat cools, it causes evaporated cooling. While the blood vessel causes convective cooling. And normal body temperature is retained again. Similarly, when the body temperature is below its normal range, hypothalamus activates heat promoting center which causes vasoconstruction of the vessel that supply the skin, meaning lower heat losses from the skin. And secondly, activates skeletal muscle which cause shivering and increase metabolism and heat. And normal body temperature is restored again. Therefore, temperature regulation is an example of negative feedback as the change is opposed by the result of the system. Beside temperature regulation, there are various other examples that comes under negative feedback loop, which include blood pressure regulation, osmoregulation, blood glucose regulation, and various other regulatory systems of bodies are included under negative feedback loop. Now let's study the differences between the positive feedback and negative feedback. So the first differences between positive and negative feedback loop is Positive is less frequent mechanism whereas negative is more frequent mechanism. The second is the positive enhances the change whereas negative inhibit or register change. The third is positive is less associated with stability whereas in negative it is closely associated with stability. So these are the three important differences between the negative and positive loop. If you like to have the notes for this video or any previous video on my channel then you can visit my Instagram page. Link is in the description and thank you for watching.